Time continues to tick down to the IWF World Relay set for May 24th and 25th inside the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. A press conference was held earlier today to give an update, and our Kelsey Johnson was there. In the next 93 days, this stadium is expected to come alive with the sounds of Junkanoo music and Rake and Scrape, a cultural showcase to be aired during the two days of competition. So we've spent, as I said, the last day and a half sitting down. We had an idea. We know how important Junkanoo music is here. The Junkanoo groups really rule the, the roost here. So we knew we had to, to, to involve them. We had to capture the spirit, the, the, the flavor which they really embody here in the Bahamas. So we've sat with our colleagues and we've said, okay, what's the best way to do that? We now know where we want to put them. Now, Junkanoo people don't know this yet, and this is up to our, our colleagues now, but we've decided we, where we want to put them, how we want to use them. So we're going to make, have them help us achieve our goals of making this as fun as, and exciting as possible. That's, that's one, uh, one idea. If the sounds from the beat of the goatskin drums does not get you rocking, then the metal presentation, which will take place immediately after each final event, should excite you. The parade of countries should also be a crowd pleaser, as top athletes are expected to line up and march into the National Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. I talked about the introductions. We're going to do something different with introductions. We're going to do something different with metal ceremonies, which we've never done. So. This is really, and you've probably heard it at previous site visits, really a, a pioneer event, an innovative event, and we're happy to, to work together with the people of the Bahamas to help make this happen. So we're going we're gonna to run a race, and our philosophy is people have just seen those athletes run in their kit without their sweatsuits on. Let's see them get their medal immediately after they ran. The same people in the same clothes they ran. So we're gonna do medal ceremonies immediately after. We're just gonna keep the action continuously flowing. The culture of the Bahamas is expected to be showcased to the world during the two days of competition. And Junkanoo is one of many ways it will be done. The hundreds of visitors will get to dance to rake and scrape, sung by our very own musicians. This is just the taste for those who will be in attendance. Viewers watching from the comfort of their homes will get to see the islands of the Bahamas come to life. The countdown continues to what is expected to be the biggest and best display of the Bahamas. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports.